Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back in again with the latest Manchester United news. Yes guys and first of all before we get started remember to subscribe smash that like button and also remember to share because sharing Ivory and Spice is caring. If you always want to contribute to this channel to help contribute help improve the quality content of the channel link in the description via paypal or you can always catch me on a live watch along and send us your super chat or a live podcast but yeah let's get straight into it guys because i am delighted because this has been the news that we all have been waiting for for a very long time ever since Manchester United started flirting with eric ten Hag, flirting with other managers we've been wanting this and it, i'm not surprised guys because after a horrendous horrible defeat from liverpool Manchester United, as always, reactive club, had to do something to cheer us fans up in, in some kind of way or some kind of form. But I am delighted to tell you that Manchester United have agreed to have Eric Ten Hag as their manager for next season for three years, plus a, an extra year, and as always, an option, an optional year for, to extend his contract. And I'm so happy right now just for the appointment Although, of course, Manchester United did drag it on for a very long time. But I'm happy to announce that Eric Ten Hag will be Manchester United manager. And, and of course, on top of that, with his assistant, that's that's with him at Ajax, will be coming along as well. But what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to share the information, the news that came out, that broke throughout the whole social media from Manchester United as well. And everyone else had to say as well, including Yap Stam as well. So let's go straight into it, guys. Yeah, as you can see here, right there, Manchester United is delighted to announce the appointment of Eric Ten Hag as, as men's first team manager. Thank God they got that one right, because I'm, I'm just finding it funny, funny that men's first team manager, not even the manager of Manchester United, but yeah, thank God it's not the women's team, they got that one right. But yes, as I was saying, subject to work visa required from the end of the season until June 2025, with the optional to extend for a further year. John Myrtle went on to say that during the past four years at Ajax, Eric has proved himself to be one of the most exciting, the most successful and, and successful coaches in Europe. Renowned for his attractive attacking football and commitment to youth. In our conversation with Eric leading up to this appointment, we were deeply impressed with the long-term vision for returning Manchester United to the level we want to compete to be competing at and his drive and determination to achieve that if they were impressed by that i hope they stick by him and back him we wish eric the best luck of, as he's focused on achieving a successful end to the season at ajax and looks forward to welcoming him to manchester united this summer eric ten Hag went on to say regarding the appointment it is a great honor to be appointed manager of manchester united i am hugely excited by the challenge ahead I know the history of this great club and the passion of the fans. I am absolutely determined to develop a team capable of delivering success they deserve. And we do deserve that, guys. We need the success because we have been deprived of success. We are thirsty. We will snatch that cup right off your hand for a taste of success. But it... He went on to say it will be difficult to leave Ajax after these incredible years. And I can assure our fans by, of my complete commitment and focus on bringing this season to a successful conclusion before I move to Manchester United. That was Eric Ten Hag there speaking on his delight and also the director of football, John, John Myrtle himself. And yet more news did really come out as well but i'm delighted i'm sure you guys are delighted but back to twitter now as you can see there we start off right here eric ten Hag will officially become Manchester United manager you know at the end of the season this broke five hours ago when when we was all at work or at school and excitement kept on flowing simon stone went to confirm that eric ten Hag confirmed as Manchester United manager Fabrizio himself, the Don Fabrizio Romano said as well, the official officially confirmed Eric Ten Hag has been appointed as new Manchester United manager. He's the man of the new era. Official statement by Manchester United Ajax confirmed an agreement complete and signed, you know. And of course, these are the quotes that John Murto said about Eric Ten Hag. Simon Stone also said that he signed a three-year deal as well. This quotes from Eric Ten Hag talking about how difficult it is to leave after a credible amount of years. 
Um, Fabricio Romano tweeted later on and said that Eric Ten Hag has signed until 2025 plus option until June 2026 as new Manchester United manager. And I thought Murtaugh speaking saying that we are deeply impressed with his long term vision. Eric Ten Hag also um, his release clause was not activated by Manchester United. Instead, it is understood that United and Ajax reached an agreement separate to the clause in his contract. You see, Ajax, they love us so much that they just give us anything. They want to work with us. They want to make things work. And thanks to Eric Van der Sar, his love for Manchester United, he's like, you know what? Take him. Take him. Don't even pay for it. My friend, have him for free. Have him for free. I insist. No, 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 no. After what you've done for me, for my career, I insist. That's Eric Van der Sar right there. He gave us Van der Beek. He asked us to treat him well, and we did it. He's probably going to send another statement saying that we need to treat Eric Ten Hag well and back him and push him, push him to be successful, which you, you never know with Manchester United. We might not be able to do that. Edwin Van der Sar spoke about it. He says, four and a half years is a good amount of time, but we would have liked to have kept Eric Ten Hag at Ajax for longer. He's going to make the step to be one of the biggest club in the world in a fantastic league. Look at that picture. Beautiful man right there. It's a great, again, as he said, people reposting the same thing. Uh, Van der went on to say that we owe Eric Ten Hag a lot of thanks for what he has achieved with Ajax so far, but we are not done yet at the end of the season. I will look back more extensively on his departure. And Eric Ten Hag said, I am happy that it's been finalised that it has been officially announced, that clearly it's important. But I only have one interest now is these last five games. I wish I want to finish my time here on a positive note by winning goals. Again, there's some more things that came out earlier on because I don't want to read everything. News came out about René Muniston be, being believed to be under, construction, uh, under consideration to join. Manchester United then went on to post this regarding... Eric Ten Hag, of course, that is the video that will be coming up. Eric Ten Hag announced, and then you had you had Yapstam, who spoke on the matter about. Uh, of course, then you need um, to do the same in the, uh, in the Premier League. Uh, of course, then you need to spend money. You need to bring in players of a certain ability because they need to fit in his philosophy of, uh, of play and what he's been trying to do in Holland. Probably he's been trying, he's going to try to do the same thing in, uh, in, uh, in England at Manchester, of course. Um, is, it, is it easy? No, the, the quality of teams against you is going to be much higher. It's going to be more uh, difficult to, uh, to, I think, to, uh, to do this, to, to be as dominant as hot as Ajax was in Holland, uh, to do the same with Manchester in, in the Premier League. Uh, it's going to take, you need to have time to, I think, to do this. Um, do you get time? That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's always the issue for a coach. Um, as a club, probably the people within the club, within the, they're saying, yeah, you're going to have time. We're going to back you up because it's a new project. Uh, yeah, you know how it goes. Uh, from the outside, and everybody knows that as well. If you're working for a team, uh, and I think that's how that's what my experience is as a player. But that's how I look at United. If you're one of the biggest biggest teams in the world, uh, you always every season you need to compete for trophies. Uh, you don't have time to to build and then uh, have a very bad season to hopefully get the next season uh, a very good one. I think every season you need to compete for the FA Cup for the year, for winning the Premier League to do well in the in the Champions League. So, uh, yeah, you need to find, I think, that balance to, to use the players that you're having now, the players that you're keen on as a, as a new coach by adding certain players and then hopefully implement these players, uh, implement your playing style to, to still get um, results throughout that season. Can you hear that, guys? He needs to be backed. He really needs to be backed, which I would like to speak on it. Fabrizio Romano also tweeted that Eriton has been top of Manchester United's board list for, of, for months and... He wanted a Man United as priority when the two German clubs approached him. He asked for a long-term contract and have enough time for Man United to rebuild in all areas. I said that priority, I said Eric Ten Hag priority was even when two clubs approached him. Same thing that United reports did tweet as well. And you can see another picture of him once upon a time. Beautiful, not done yet from Ajax. And then, of course, beautiful, beautiful. As you can see there up there, Eric Ten Hag announced 
uh, Manchester United, all sources all from sources from Manchester United say that they, they, they believe they had a proven winner. But regarding that, guys, I want to know what your thoughts are because the most important thing is that Eric Ten Hag needs time. You know, I don't want him to be judged after four or five games and you guys are all moving mad saying, this guy, shit, we're losing. No, it takes time. And Manchester United board himself needs to back him. So I want you guys to give him at least a whole season before passing judgment because it's very important. Otherwise, he won't succeed. The most important thing as well is for him to get rid of certain players, you know. If we go into the next season and, they, and he asks for Maguire to be sold and the, and the Manchester United board say, you know what, um, it just costs us 80 million, you know. You sure? We don't really want to do that. Then you know that Manchester United board are liars. They don't want to back him completely. But he needs the full backing. It's true. It's true. That's the most important thing. But apart from that, guys, I'm I'm delighted. I'm delighted. But I'm more interested in what you think, guys. What's your thoughts on the situation? Is this a successful hire? Will it work out? Um, did Manchester United make the right choice? That's what I want to know with you guys, you know. So please do let me know. But we have come to the end. I'd like to thank you for watching. And as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share because I'll see you next time on a watch along against Arsenal. It's your boy, Avery Spice, and I'm out. Peace.